Hey guys, so I have another video for you guys and it's a nail polish haul and I haven't gotten around to doing a video in a really long time so I wanted to show you guys this because I got a bunch of nail polishes and um, I just wanted to share them with you guys. Maybe you guys will like some of them. You guys can go out and buy them. Most of them are still in the store so if you guys like them you can go find them at your local Sephora. Um, actually Ulta. I think I got most of them at Ulta. So the first ones that I got are these um, Wet n Wild ones. And I've never actually tried Wet n Wild polishes before. So this is the first. And this is what's their holiday collection. The first one is called Behind Closed Doors. And it's a kind of like a black um, watery polish with chunky red glitter. I haven't used it just because I don't like how the black polish looks. I have to find something to wear it over. This one is called Correction Tape, and it's actually one of my favorites. It's just a multicolor, chunky glitter, and I've actually used quite a lot of it. This one is called Ready to Pounce, and this is really pretty iridescent purple, and it kind of has like coppery undertones to it, which I really like, and it's called Ready to Pounce. Put these here. And this one is The Gold and the Beautiful, which is just a really pretty... Um, it's a fine glitter, it's fine gold glitter, it's not a metallic, it actually has glitter on it, but it's just really, really fine gold glitter. Um, and I also got this one, which is called Tangled in My Web, and it's pretty much just a clear polish with a uh, black glitter. The only thing about it is that the glitter isn't really sparkly, so it kind of defeats the purpose. It kind of looks like you have, um, black dots on your, your finger now, so that's the one thing I didn't like. And then at uh, Macy's, they have this um, Material Girl brand, and they actually came out with nail polishes. They are um, $7 each, but if you buy more than, like, the more you buy, the less they are. So I bought four of them, and I paid, like, they ended up being um, $5 a piece or something, or $4 a piece, I don't remember. This one is called Wildflower, and it's just a really pretty, um, fine pink glitter. It's actually really easy to take off. One of the things I don't like about glittery polish is that it's hard to take off, but this one's pretty easy. And also the cap is like a twisty one. You just take off the top. This one is my favorite one, I think. It's called Midnight. And it's just this really pretty blue. I love this color in the sun. It looks so pretty. The only thing that I did notice about this one is that it chips really easily. No wait, this isn't the one that chips. This one chips. So this one actually holds out a lot. This one in Phantom, which is a black that has like kind of like a gold um, greenish undertone to it. The gold, the glitter is actually like a reddish gold color. You'd kind of see it if I do it in the light. But um, this one chips really fast, so I didn't like that. I like the color, but I didn't like that it chipped. And this one is called Psychedelic, and it's just this really pretty uh, metallic, kind of almost like a neon purple. I really like this one. And then I got some Essie Nail polish, Polishes, and this one is called Dive Bar, which is a really pretty blue. It's almost like a blue-green, and if you look at it closely, you'll find like purple iridescence in it. And I, I don't have a blue like this, so I thought I would buy this one. And then I also got, this is one of my favorites, I'm kind of going through a nail polish thing, and I notice a lot of the colors that I'm getting are either purple or blues. I don't know why. This one is called Damsel in a Dress, and it's just this plum purple. Um, it goes on really pretty. I have it on my toes right now, and it's just this really pretty plum purple. I really like it, and it doesn't tip as fast as the blue one, actually. And then these are two from their new from their new collection. It's called Lux Effects, and this one is in Set in Stones, and it's just big, chunky silver glitter. I have a silver glitter nail polishes, polish, but this one has like chunky polish, chunky glitter, and fine glitter. And then I also got one in pink, which is called a cut above. And it's just the same thing, but in a pink. It's almost the same color as a material girl one, except that this is fine glitter, and then this is like the chunky one. And then I got this... Um, Deck your OPI nail, deck your nails. It's a three mini exclusive from the Make Holiday Shine collection, and this one is a um, this one is. Well, I'll show you guys the names. 
And I haven't tried this one, the How's It Snowing, or I haven't tried the two middle ones, but I did do the red one, and it's um, really good. It's like a really deep red. You know how sometimes glitter comes off, well, glitter nail polish, I feel like, comes off as, um, like, really sheer in the red, and then it just has a lot of glitter. This one actually comes off really red, and I used it on top of um, So Hot It Burns. It's another red OPI color, and it looks really, really good. It's just you know, perfect for the holidays. I haven't tried the other ones, and of course they give you a top coat, which I run out of top coat all the time, so. Then I got these three Zoya nail polishes. This one is another glittery red, but the glitter is kind of a goldish undertone, and it's called Sarah. And it's just, you know, a red. And this one's kind of more like a cherry, like a, it has kind of more like a pink tone to it than an orange tone. And, but it does have the gold, um, the gold metallic in it. Then this one I love. This one is called, uh, I don't know how to say that. Let me show you guys. Uh, there you go. And it's, uh, I thought at first when I bought it that it was an olive green. Because if you look at it, it kind of looks olive green. But when you actually put it on your nail, it comes off darker. Almost like a silver, like a gray gunmetal color. And then in the sun, it will show you that, um, that green iridescence, which I really like. And then this one is called Julie Julianne, and it's a purple, and it's like a jewel tone purple, but it also has that iridescence in it. And this one is kind of more like on the greens, so it's a purple with like the green iridescent glitter inside. And this one, I had it on my nails before I put this on, and I really did like it. What I like about these nail polishes is that they look really, really good in the sun. And then in my birch box, I got the Holly which is a green, almost, I when I look at this color, it reminds me of just Christmas. So it's kind of like a Christmassy color. And what I'm going to do is, um, actually, I might pair it with this, this other Zoya color, or with um, the OPI Speak For Your Elf, and make um, like a pretty holiday design, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. And then for OPI, I just got a top coat. I got this maybe a month ago. And you can see I go through the top coats really fast and I'm, I'm like already, you know, I've, you could already tell I've used a lot. And I also got this at Sephora. It is called Only Gold For Me. And it's just this really pretty gold um, chunky glitter. And it goes on clear obviously because it's clear polish but it just has the gold glitter. And I really like chunky glitters, chunky glitter polishes, so this one's really good. So those are the nail polishes that I bought recently. Um, I've I've been on a nail polish kick. I'm not really sure why. I go through phases where um, I I'll never paint my nails. Like I mean, I'll always have my toes done, but I'll never like have my fingernails painted. And then all of a sudden, I'm like all about it. So I think that's why I bought all these nail polishes. Also, in the Ulta um, ad that I got, there's this 20 set, this 20 mini um, deluxe edition or something for the holidays. Um, I went in yesterday to Ulta. That's actually why I went in to get it, my local Ulta. They actually opened one like five minutes away. It's horrible. I've, I've probably been to Ulta so many times this month, more times than I've been in the past, I don't know, year um, since I moved. But they didn't have it in yet, so... I'll be putting that in my next haul whenever I do get it. And I also have a clothing haul and a makeup haul coming up. Just I've been gone for so long. I have so many things I have to um, catch up on. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, leave me a comment on polishes that you think I will like. Just because, like I said, I'm on a nail polish kick. And I'm trying to get, you know, all kinds of colors. Also, um, tell me what your favorite holiday or holiday polishes or winter polishes. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.